Mr. Cruz. Mr. Cruz, do you, can you see how brainless and empty you are? Can you see how dumb you are? I mean, how on this earth will you agitate to leave this compound irrespective of everything I have told you? General, if I say I have an idea of what you're saying, would you think I'm joking? Will you keep quiet? Shut up! Shut up before I will arrest you for misleading information. Mr. General, would you arrest someone who's innocent and hasn't committed a crime? Mr. Chris, have you suddenly started seeing me like a toothless bulldog that can just bark? I never said anything like that, Mr. General. Mm. I never said you're a toothless bulldog. Besides, I was doing something in the house before you reached out to me. I need to go back and continue the chores. M Mr. Chris, if you leave this place without my permission, I will arrest you and charge you for disobedience and negligence. Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Don't you have, don't you have something in your skull? I mean, don't you have brain in, inside your skull? What's wrong? How, how did I come across a, a, a bloody civilian like this? Where did I know you from? In Apuala. Joy, for the last time, Chris means nothing to me. You have uh, not Chris, seen Chris. Yes. Chris is neither my boyfriend, my lover, or my fiancé. So why are you a stumbling block between Chris and I? Why? A stumbling block? Yes. Joy, what is going on? Why can't we have peace again because of Chris? You have practically made Chris the headline whenever we are discussing. Because I love Chris. I love him. Ah. Why Chris? What happened to the flux of men asking for a hand in marriage? It's Chris I want, can't you understand? The heart knows what it wants. I don't want those men, I want Chris. It's Chris you want? Yes. Such a low life? <sighs> Should we say it's because of his low life I love him? I love Chris. Everything about him makes me feel happy. Joy. Yes. Help his sister. Kodekode. <laughs> Kodelia, my dimple baby. Look at her, look at her. <laughs> Joe. Look at her. Cordelia, mm? the only woman that melted the heart of an officer of the law. <laughs> Cordelia, listen to me. Cordelia, the moment you say yes to me, your problems are over. <laughs> hey, Miss Peto. How do you plan on intend to achieve that? Cordelia, I, I, listen. The way you go about this street, with this outdated medicine on your head, burning your skin under this hot sun, it's making me sick. Like, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I beg, forget my trade and business and answer me. How do you intend to give me a good life? Godelia, and my name. where shall both of us live? Maybe in your security house, Abby? Oh, no, 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 no. Listen to me. I have plans. Oh, yes. My name is Inspector Charles. I know you. AKA the Provost General. Number one. <laughs> the moment you say yes to me, I will take a slow march to my superior officer. A slow march. I know you will not understand what is slow march. I put it to her. I tell her, madam, salute. Give me a place. I mean, a flat where I can. Stay with my beloved Cordelia. And she will answer with immediate alacrity. And I will go further and say, Madam, I hereby facilitate to sack Mr. Chris so that my beloved Cordelia can assume the position of a house help. 
Hey, what is that? Miss Peter, you want me, your newly married wife, to become a house help? Eh? Thereby making me to stop hacking my wabi. Cordelia, this is a well tailored idea. I I have my way around all these things. It is a well tailored idea. Abe, go and look for me to marry. I'm not interested. Cordelia. See you next time. Cordelia! Cordelia! What did you say? Cordelia, listen to me and listen real good. Any day I find your elephant feet, your dirty feet around this jurisdiction, I will charge you for wandering. And not only for wandering, I will charge you for assault to the police force. Look at this woman, bloody civilian, wandering about with illegal drugs. You are under arrest. Mr. Chris, can you give me just two reasons? Two good reasons you decided to wickedly stab me to death. Um, Mr. General, you have to understand that it's not my fault. I didn't decide not to serve you food. My madam locks the kitchen and the store. And why wouldn't the poor lady lock the kitchen just to save her poor life? Tell me! I beg your pardon? Why would she do that? Is anyone after her life? Oh, yes. Someone is after her life. Oh, yes. Because the moment you open your mouth to say such a blunder that you are leaving this compound, you are leaving this house, uh, now I ask you, are you okay? Like, are you mad or something? I'm sorry to have said that. I mean, I, I regret everything. Uh, uh, listen, Mr. Chris. You can never be sorry for my belly. Oh, yes. You can never be sorry for my belly. Now go into that house. Go into your pocket. Look for money anywhere. Go and get me food. Before I change that for you. Did you hear me? Get out! Blow the signal. Just look at him. Welcome back. And what are you still doing in my house? I'm sorry, I couldn't leave because I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have relatives. I'm sorry. What have you eaten today? Nothing. I'm not hungry. Go to the truck of my car. There's a bag there, get it for me. Mr. Chris, do not think that uh, the arrival of my superior has given you the immunity, for I will treat your flaws. Uh, but Mr. General, I, I don't understand. You're beginning to squeeze life out of me, and if care is not taken, I might just fall down due to pressure from you. And, and to what do I attribute this bloody civilian statement to? To what? Is it anger? Complain or intention to revolt against the officer of the law? 
uh, officer in charge. None of the above. I'm only politely asking you to temper justice with mercy and give me a listening ear. Mr. Chris, I can read between lines as the officer of the law. I will write a petition against you and move a motion of protest and make sure you are sacked and I'll bring somebody very wrong for this job. You are not wrong for the job. You are too clean for the job. You are very fragile. I will bring someone that will serve me the way I want. Somebody rugged. Someone as rugged as I am. Um, Office of the law, but what have I done? What is my offense? Uh, like? Listen to me. Before you, I say anything. Before you hear me say anything, go inside there and give me 1,000 naira. I'm sorry, Office of the law. I have no money to give you. What did you say? I said I don't have any money on me, I swear. Then go into the house and steal your madam's money as usual. I'm sorry, I can't do that. What did you say? I said I cannot steal anymore. Then I will charge you for stealing. Ah, but Office of the Law, I haven't stolen yet. Then I will charge you for the previous stealing. Oh yes, I will charge you for the previous stealing. What is all this one? Bloody civilian. Did you say it otherwise? Nonsense. Now, li listen, let me tell you. Go inside there and steal that money. Bring it to my chamber. I move. Okay. What is? <laughs> I am actually dealing with a madman. <laughs> Chris. Yes, please. Why are you not eating with me? Do you feel shy eating with me? I feel like I don't deserve the privilege. Besides, I'm not hungry. Please. Yes, please. I'm sorry for what happened today. It's okay. It's past. Um, I don't expect every day with you to be rosy. Sometimes I expect a little bit of, uh, you know, turbulent to think that you're a police officer but I felt a little bit hurt however I feel better now I'm okay yeah I know you were hurt that is why I'm apologizing it's okay like I said I feel better now it will not happen again I promise you're welcome accepted mm -hmm. okay. thank you can you please? Just let me get a glass. So I can join you. Chris, my mom, you like food. <laughs> I can tell that you like food. Igbe! Igbe! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm. The food is nice. I swear with my rank. I swear with my rank. I love food from this particular eatery. The way they garnish their, 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 their protein is something to write to my about. Oh my God. I'm glad that you like it. But please don't. Let me ask you. Did you buy this food with your money? Tell me the truth. Don't you deserve it? What are you telling me? The provost deserve every good thing in life. I deserve every good thing. It's just that this food is too expensive for you to afford. Don't worry about that. 
I'm just happy that uh, you appreciate me for giving you food. Mm. Are you okay? No, I'm not going. I'm very, very okay. Anyways, I have to quickly rush inside. Yes, uh, you have to. So that my superior will not come and meet you here. You know, she asked me to monitor the time you'll be coming back. She said that to you? Yes, she said that, but you're saying I've been talking. If not, I would have charged you for reckless movement. <laughs> I would have charged you for illegal movement. Don't move illegally when the officer is in charge. I can see you're not afraid of me. Afraid of what? Of you? Afraid of touching the lost choosing. Why did you kiss me? I should play can you sister, my best sister. You didn't mention that to me. Did you? No, you did not. But I am. Well, that's good for you. You don't know, you're not meant to kiss me. No, no, no man is meant to kiss me in this life, or even in my next life. What is wrong? What have you, what have you done? Are you done? Are you done blabbing? Now let me advise you. You need to stop deceiving yourself. And you need to tell other sisters out there, other reverend sisters out there, God created us to multiply. It's in the Bible. He created you and I. He said, go into the world and multiply. So stop deceiving yourself. You need a man. I as, don't. No, as a woman, you need a man in your life. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. This life, the things happen for a reason, just as the clock is ticking per seconds in a daily events unfolding, pushing us through a life goes. Sometimes it comes pleasantly, sometimes it comes with ups and downs. Hitches and hurdles, but in all, all you got to do, hop in and enjoy the ride while it lasts. Be positive, be true to life. Hop in and enjoy the ride. Uh, breakfast is ready. Breakfast is ready. Let me tell you, your go is toxic. Oh yes. And I will arrest you and charge you for peddling illicit and harmful drugs around. Yeah. Does this thing they call love, is it by force? Must I accept you as a lover? Eh? Have I not warned you never to bring this your filthy left legs to this jurisdiction? Okay, Inspector. I see my account as whether you go buy a book for me. I'm not come near your jurisdiction now. Eh? Just look at this. Local, shapeless, and mweba. Local lady that I am even trying to pick up, brush up, and make her somebody. Someone that cannot construct common lingua franca. <sighs> Okay, don't brush me. Don't marry me. All I know is that I am not in your jurisdiction. And I will never enter into it. Let me tell you. Young lady, or whatsoever you call your name. Kodi. By the time I arrest you here, you will know that this kid is my jurisdiction. Ah. Oh, yes. Arrest. No. Okay, officer, no arrest you. I beg, I beg. Nothing is as sweet as power.
My name is Inspector Charles, the Provost General without no complimentary rank. My senior officer. <laughs> Inspector. Welcome to our house. Thank you. This one you are visiting us during work hours. I hope there is no problem. Didn't you go to work today? <laughs> Inspector, I'm actually on sick leave. I decided to come here to rest my head, you know, to stay away from disturbance. I'm so sorry to hear that. Have you seen a doctor? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Thank you so much. That's fine. Okay then, my senior officer, you do take care of yourself while I retire to my duty post. It's all right. Let's be the cops. Mm -hmm. Chris, <laughs> how are you? I actually lied to him. I told him I was sick. I'm not sick. I can see you. <laughs> Come. Come and sit down. Come. Yeah, yeah, after you. After you. <laughs> oh. Come and sit down. Come. So, how are you? I'm fine. Please, can I ask you a question? Of course. <laughs> Aren't you worried about your friend? Are you not scared to know what she would do if she sees us together? Who cares? I don't get it. Are we not matured? I don't understand you. Like you want to remain in this house and be nothing but a common house help. Then for you to be out there making money for yourself, you have two people. One sees you as a maid and the other loves you so, so much. So who do you pick? Please, I feel this is a setup, okay? It is dangerous to be together and it's very unreasonable. I don't want any trouble. Chris, in God's name, what's your problem? What exactly is your problem? Chris, I love you so much, can't you see? I love you. Don't you love who loves you? Or you just want to be with someone who just sees you as a maid? What's your problem? Listen, why do you love me? Why do you love someone like me? Can you give me an explanation, a detailed one? Why do you love me? What's so special about me? I love you. Take a look at your eyes. Look at everywhere. Your skin. Everything is just awesome. I love you because I can see great potentials in you. Can't you see it? You have a big dream. I see where you're going to. Let me help you get there. Give me that chance. Let me make you the man of my dream. You will never regret. <sighs> Listen, Joy, I, I heard everything you said, but you need to give me some time. All right, give me some time to think about it because it is a very difficult decision to make. So you need to just give me some time, please. Time waits for no one. Yes, if you know what I have in stock for you, you wouldn't even hesitate to remain in this place. You were just moving with me. Moving with me and let me, let me put you in paradise. Yes. <laughs> I've heard you, I'll, I'll definitely get back to you. I'll think about it and give you feedback. Chris, please just do this for me. I promise you, you will not regret it. Okay? <sighs> anyway. I 
um i know you'll be needing some money so i brought this for you you can use it and buy whatever you want take oh take take <laughs> you're trying to bribe me why will i oh my god why will i bribe you why <laughs> Inspector. Lastly, uh, you did not have the needed rest. I hope there is no issue with my madam's house help. Any insult or disrespect? <laughs> not at all, my darling. You know, Chris here is a very good man. A humble one at that. So, nothing at all. It's just that um, I got a call from the office, so I have to rush back to work. Of course. Duty calls. You know now. You're in the system, so you understand. Fine, I shall tell madam that you came visiting. Oh, there will be no need. I'm actually going to the office, so when I get there, I will see her. So come. Have this. Oh. Take. For your stress. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. One more thing. Um, Inspector, I want you to always take good care of Chris. You know he's a young man that is still struggling. So we need to help him become a better person. So just make sure to live in peace with him. On my honor, I promise to take good care of that civilian. Now you come. Thank you so much. Make sure to take good care of him. If you do, I will always give you that. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you. Provost General. <laughs> Mr. Chris. Yes. You have just reminded me of my commandant in Gaza. In oh, Gaza? Yes. yes. Wow. You know, that's, that's, that, that is how he used to call me anytime he is happy with my, my shooting skills. Wow, wow. Looks like you were a sharpshooter. I am a British trained sniper. What? You don't know anything. I can shoot the eye of an eagle flying. The eye of an eagle flying? Flying. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, you're surprised. The eye of an eagle flying. flying. Are you surprised? Wow. <laughs> You're blowing siren. Let me tell you, that is the reason they drafted me to come and guard my police chief. That is easy. Oh. But does that explain why you left the gate to nowhere today? You know, my boy, I told you, there was something I told you that I will teach you about Security intelligence. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's why I bought you the bottle of beer. This is an offense. This particular one now is an offense. It is pun it's a punishable uh, uh, offense. You cannot buy an officer that is on duty a beer so that the officer will get drunk and you now begin to do your evil plan, evil plot. But you are drinking it. I am. Um, um, I just have to drink it as a gift. Uh, but I have to teach you the law. So that you be aware. Because no one is ignorant.
You're welcome, ma'am. How's work today? Um, can I get you something to eat? Can I serve you lunch? Okay, you're not talking. Did something happen at the office? Did something happen at work? Okay, don't go quiet on me. Don't make me feel like a stranger. I want to be left alone. Okay, I respect that. But you look worried. And I can't just walk away with you looking like this. How do I look? You look very sad. Do I really look sad? Yeah, very sad. Chris. Like I said, I want to be left alone. Probably you should just step out and meet up with Shaz. I know that. All right, I'll do that. But in case uh, you're hungry, uh, just let me know so I can get you food. you to come in? I'm asking you, Chris, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, I was knocking, I didn't hear a response, so I came in. You were knocking and I didn't say come in. I'm sorry about that. But what's wrong? Did I do something wrong? Why are you making this house so hot for me? Why would the house be so hot for you? There and continue with your romantic course. Please. I beg your pardon? Leave me alone. What's that noise? Don't go. See our guy inspector. I'm not begging you to buy a boat from me. Oh. What I'm asking you is the last one you bought on credit, that's all. What is the meaning of that? Eh? This woman, I have warned you never to step your feet on this gate. I have warned you never to cross this boundary, this jurisdiction. Listen to me. Anytime I find you here, I will arrest you and I will charge you for trespassing and constructive intention to commit arson. So you think that they fear you, eh? You think that they fear this your eyes? See, eh, if you don't pay me, eh, I will go straight to that house now and report to your madam. Listen, and that woman amounts to liberal, character assassination, and destructive intention. I will arrest you before you get to my madam. Oh, yes. And I go tell you, say, eh, any animal will not get there. Eh. Now, God, they dry fly come up for you. Are you challenging the officer of the law? <laughs> Are you challenging the officer of the law? No. Are you challenging the officer of the law? Mr. General. God. Just, just look at this. What is the problem? I heard you screaming from inside look at this bloody civilian this woman imagine a woman i'm trying to patronize peddling on registered medicine you better you buy my money or better they go i don't know what they talk they are the speed bb grandma she's here to mess herself up imagine madam what's the problem see this man oh i sell a bottle to this man to pay me in our allah eh pay me my money make her go my friend will you keep quiet how much is he owing you oh, God. 1350 There you go. This is a thousand five hundred. You can keep the change. Thank 
you, sweet man. What did you say? Sweet Thank man. You, sweet man. Sweet man. Cordelia, sweet man. So I am not sweet. You, Bitali. I am not sweet. Cordelia, I will charge you for sexual assault. Sweet, okay. I will you charge you for sexual you assault. Yeah. Look at you. I am you. Sweet man. You are... You, uh, 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 you, a uh, sweet man, and you are happy. Sweet man, your sister named there. My father didn't get inside. Bloody civilian. Look at them. Yeah, bring the church. Cornelia! Bring my church, Cornelia! No problem. That change, I will use it and drink and go for the rest of this year. For the rest of this year, I will drink your go on that change. See, I go, see change. Thank you for eating my food, ma. No. I should be the one thanking you for the delicious meal. Thank you. You're welcome. Ma, please, I would like to beg for a favor. Okay. Um, I, I want to go out tomorrow. I'd like to take a walk and, uh, you know, just look around. I'm tired of staying indoors. It's beginning to affect my mental health. But you told me you are a novice in this city. Where do you know you are going? Um, nowhere in particular. But I'm just tired of staying indoors and my mental health is beginning to get affected. I just wanted to take a stroll and, you know, go out, look around, meet a few people and ask questions. And I promise not to get missing. I'll come back. Okay. Let it not be that I'm keeping you hostage. You're free to go. But please, make sure you return before lunchtime tomorrow. No problem. I will. Okay. Ma, go. sorry, sorry. Um, I wanted to remind you about the job we discussed. I'm on it. No problem. Thank you, ma. Hi, Joy. Yeah. So I have her permission to go out, but I must be back before lunchtime. Yes. Listen, I'm still under her care, so I have to give her that respect. Joy, until you come into the picture, I must continue to play by her rules. Okay, I will call you for direction and venue, all right? All right, no problems. Thank you. All right. Inspector Charles, I can see you are getting along with Mr. Chris. Yes, my superior. According to your previous instruction, no corporal punishment, no quarrels, just getting along. Good. So, what is your assessment of him? The guy is good. He's law abiding, he's intelligent, and most important, he is trustworthy. Hmm. I see. Within the short period of his stay in this house, you have actually assessed him well. My superior officer, my superior, do not forget that I am a trained officer of the law. So, where did he tell you he will be going today? He never mentioned that. Are you serious? I'm very serious. Okay. Chris, I won't dispute the fact my friend was the one who played the major role in saving your life. But would you rather remain a servant all your life? Joy, I want to know you know the reason I am in this situation, don't you? I do. And do you want to remain like that? God forbid. 
then do something. Do something. There is an English proverb that says, a man should not be bothered. Joy, Joy, listen to me. We've been talking for over 10 minutes. You haven't said anything. Why did you call me out here? What do you want? Can you just put me through? Because I don't understand what you're up to. Grace, I know I've made my intentions clear to you. I love you, Grace. Can't you see? Just take a look at, look into my eyes and tell me you don't see it. Joy, 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 listen, listen to me. I understand how you feel. I respect your feelings. You love me. I get it. You care about me. I understand. But the truth is, I am with your friend. I'm still under her service. Do you understand me? So you need to, you know, trade cautiously. I know. I'm only trying to save you from Lizzie's imprisonment. Can't you see you're on the whole stage? Okay. You need to be in you know one. What? I have I have curfew. I need to give them, you know, I, I give them a time to come back, so I have to go back home. You know what? Um, I know you've not had ice cream in a long while, so let me get you one. So you think ice cream is my problem now? Listen, I need to go. I let have me get Listen, you I, one. I don't Enter the car! <laughs> I'm off to work. Be in charge. Security is double assured. Any trespass shall attract accidental discharge. Inspector Charles, I have sounded it as a warning to you. Do not shoot anyone. Or you will go in for it, despite my position. Oh, that's correct. But can I arrest and prosecute for loitering? You are not new in this job. Meanwhile, I told Chris to return before lunchtime. Put an eye on him. Yes, ma'am. Remember, no corporal punishment or harassment. Did you get that? Yes, ma'am. Fine. Open the door. Chris, darling, um, as I was saying, I saw great potentials in you, so I decided to make you my man, the man of my dream. Do you mean I have potentials? Of course. No, I don't think so. I'm an empty man. Oh. Don't ever condemn yourself. An empty man with no future. Don't say that. You're not empty. Whatever a man says, so he is. Don't ever condemn yourself. <laughs> Listen, I owe Lizzie a lot of gratitude because she saved my life. Hmm. Yes, but you should also understand that Lizzie saved your life. That was exactly how God wants it. She was there at that scene because God wanted to use her to fulfill a purpose. He can even use anyone. So God could have used you? Of course. Well, I have to be thankful to her. Being thankful does not mean... You should be a slave to her. Well, I'm not a slave. <laughs> Please, I know. Let me feed you. I have mine. Let me feed you. No, thank you. Chris, please. I have mine. Let me just feed you. you see? Mm. Mm. Oh. Listen, woman. Can you tell me? The reason why you open this gate and come inside? Uh-uh. Okay, Asami! What are you doing here? Are we quarreling? Yes, we are quarreling. Ha what are you doing here? I'm here to see if you patronize me. I will not patronize you. What? Oh, yes. I will never patronize you. Listen, let me tell you. 
coming into this place is an offense. And I will charge you for breaking and entry. Listen to me. Yeah. I will never patronize you peddling this spoiled and outdated medicine. I cannot. Since you cannot marry officer of the law, I will not patronize your spoiled drugs. Illegal drugs. Now, get that from here. See, officer. You know, say my abuna authentic. My friend, will you get out? Get, get, get out! Yeah. Get out! If not, your boy, 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 your Mr. Chris, you know I told you to relax and enjoy my superior's kindness. As a servant, all you need to do is to be humble. Be humble. That's all you need. Officer in charge, hmm. something tells me you're nice to me because I gave you food to eat. If not, you'd have charged me for trespass or something. Listen, my friend. A hungry man is an angry man. Is that as if I could not go to get this food myself? Oh, yes. But I cannot leave this gate for security purpose. Excuse me. Are you trying to say I cannot watch the gate in your absence? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chris, Mr. Chris. Have you been to the war front? No, I'm coming. Have you been to the war front? Can you withstand the sound of a rifle in Gaza? When you hear two, pa, two, the sound of missile, pew, boom. Let me even ask you, can you withstand this gate if the enemy is invaded? Can you protect my superior? Can you? Will they come in your absence? Or will someone give them an information that you went to buy food? You see, my boy. There's something my commandant told me back then in Gaza about intelligence. Remind me, I'll teach you about it. You're doing well. You're doing wonderfully well. <laughs> if not, I would have charged you for misconduct and mismanagement of fund. <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Hi, boy. So, what uh, juice? What of the juice? My boy, <laughs> you're doing well. <laughs> oh, welcome. Thank you, Chris. Welcome, Thank you. Hi. I'm fine. And how was your sightseeing today? Um, it was fantastic. I was able to take a walk around town. Uh, I saw some of the high-rise buildings and uh, infrastructure. Trust me, it's a beautiful city. Oh. Okay. Um, did you by any means run into my friend, Joy? Process? No, no, I didn't. Okay, I was asking because she just returned to the office a few minutes before I left. I was thinking maybe... Not at all. I didn't see her today. Okay. My food is ready. What do you want? So I can quickly make it? Chris. Mom? We had an agreement that you'll be making bitter leaf soup and curry. I'm, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. I haven't made it. But I can do that right now. Um, just give me a second. My dinner is ready. It's late to eat. I can make you something very light. 
if that's what you want. I'm not interested. You can leave that till tomorrow morning. Chris, it's quite unlike you making dinner at this time of the night. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I hope it doesn't. Because if it does, I won't be happy. Sorry, ma, what about the job we talked about? I'm working on it. Ma, how long is it going to take? I'm tired. I can't keep staying in this house doing nothing. Cooking from morning to night and eating food. I didn't come to the world to eat food. I want to walk. I'm sensing agitation on Chris's voice. Could it be possible he went to see someone who must have spoken to him? Oh, could it be a coincidence that Joy reported very late to the office today and Chris returned home from the side scene Late. And now he's preparing dinner very late. Unlike him. Lizzie. Lizzie, think. Shama. Inspector Charles. Do you remember you took an oath of allegiance when you were posted to my house by the Commission of Police to be my oddly? Yes, ma. And I have been maintaining the context of the oath with all my might. Ma! Now tell me, who are Chris's friends? Ma, I, I'm not aware of his friends. Maybe he has a date outside, but as far as this compound is concerned, I don't know any. Inspector Charles, you are the officer in charge of my house, right? Yes, ma. How often do you allow him out when I'm not around? Never. Ma, Chris has always been with me anytime you're out. Ma! Are you sure? Yes. Ma! Remember, I promise never to lie to you. Ma! If Chris has no friends or anyone visiting him, how many times has he complained to you about feeling tired of being idle? Maybe he's intending to complain to me. But now, I'm not aware of that. Ma! Okay. You may go now. But, do not mention any of our discussions to him again. And always, remember to keep an eye on him. Am I clear? Consider your instruction maintained. Ma! Permission to fall out. Permission granted. Why do you find it difficult to forgive an offense? I'm trying to understand you. 
quit this pretense, Chris. I know you're angry with me. <laughs> I know. Miss Lizzie, you're my boss. And I don't think I have the right to get angry at you. You know, you are very wise than I thought. And you are being more logical too. But I know that you are angry with me. Miss Lizzie, I owe you a lot of gratitude for all you have done for me. And I'll keep saying thank you to you because you're a good person and you have a good heart. However, I need to search for a job. I need to go out and look for a job. I need to earn like every other young man out there. Chris. Chris. I, I, I so much love your ambitious nature. No doubt. But I told you to exercise some patience with me. Let me get you something befitting. That's a job. For how long do I wait? For how long would that be? I'm not complaining. I have all it takes to take care of you forever, like for life. So it's not a problem. So that means I have to depend on you for life to take care of me. I mean, that's very kind of you. But I don't think it is appropriate. I have to work hard. I also have to support you and establish myself too. Okay. And can you give me at least until the end of the month to get you something befitting, something good, something big? Hmm? That's fine. Take your time. I can wait for you to get me something big. But before the big one comes, I have to start small. I'll go out there, search for a job. I don't care, even if it's a menial job. I don't mind. I'll do it. As long as I earn money every day, then I'm fine. Chris, go and serve our breakfast. Thank you. Hello? Hello, Chris, darling. How are you? Good morning. How was your night? <laughs> I'm fine. And how was your night? Oh, that's great. But that sounds very sweet. But let me ask you a question. Isn't it too early to make such remarks? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by it's too early? Come on, Chris. Can't you see? You mean so much to me. I love you so, so much. Like so, so much. I can't even stop thinking about you. Okay, I must commend your good heart and um, how much you care about me. But then... We need to slow down, okay? I want you to always remember your friend and uh, have it at the back of your mind that we shouldn't cause any trouble. What? Lizzie? Stop it. Don't you know too, Lizzie, you're nothing but a common maid. A common maid. Well, you heard what I said. I said I know you care about me and you're a very sweet person, so... But let's be careful. All right. Do have a great day. Just know someone loves you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chris. Sorry, ma, you forgot your key. Your car key. 
Ma, are you going to work? You're not talking to me. Chris, or whatever they call you. Do I owe you an explanation? I'm asking you. The day you saw and agreed with the person that was telling you how much she loves you on the phone. Did you tell me? I don't understand what you mean. You are very mad to stand before me pretending as if you know what I'm talking about. Something is wrong with you. Nonsense. Get the gate system spent, Mrs. I want to warn you for the very last time. Be mindful the way you go about my superior officer. Remember she is a policewoman. Um, sir. Did she tell you I did something wrong? Because I can't remember doing anything to her. Oh, my friend. Tell me that. From the report and what she's saying concerning you, it means you're making her unhappy. Unhappy? Yes. I'm officer in charge. Can you kindly tell me um, some of the conversation you had with her. I don't get it. So I should release the information I had with my superior officer I, I, to you? Sir, I, I did not force you. I just pleaded with you to tell me. Listen, you bloody civilian. Listen to me and listen very good. Be very careful. Because if she order me to arrest you, I will not mind how close we are. I will send you straight to the guard room and charge you for conspiracy. Conspiracy? Oh, yes. Now, run up. Move. Hop, 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 hop. Lazy, bloody civilian. Move on. Mr. Chris, I can see that arrogance has eaten deep into you. So if I don't ask for my food, you cannot bring it. Sir, it is not arrogance. The truth is, I have been preoccupied and I'm totally confused because by... It, it is better you are confused. It, it is better you are, you, are, you are soaked into confusion than... Incure the wrath of my senior officer. Oh, yes. Uh, but, officer in charge, that is actually the genesis of my worry. And I wish this trouble can pass over me. My friend, will you go inside and get my food before I charge you for negligence to duty? An attempted murder. Attempted murder? Oh, yes! <sighs> officer in charge, go to your duty post. I'll bring your food there. by Chief Olu Segun of Bosco Were you there? Were you born? 
Now listen to me and listen very carefully. Before I Wesley snipe your leg right now, run into the kitchen and bring my food. Yes, sir. Hop, 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 why would you get angry by seeing your house help? Having a conversation with a lady over the phone. I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't say that was a strange feeling of jealousy. What? The feeling wanted to shock me to death. To run. I mean, I abandoned breakfast. Ah. Honestly, Lizzie, I, I, I don't get it. But why would you be jealous? Because you saw your servant having a conversation with a woman? Why? Please, Joy. I need to talk to me. Maybe advise me on something. I really want to know what is wrong with me. Is it possible that I'm falling in love with this guy? Logini. Logini. Love. Lizzie. Putabakwa. Do Reverend Sisters fall in love? See, if I will advise you as my friend, earlier the better you send that boy packing. Yes. You mean I should send him out of my house? Yes. That's the, that's the good thing to do. You have to send him out. Why would somebody be in your house and make you uncomfortable? Does it make sense? Send him packing. PP, you want to have hypertension? Ha! Huh? I don't know, Dale. I think that is what I should do. Exactly. That's what you should do. Just pull yourself together. Let's go back to the office. Chris! Chris! Why is this stupid boy? Where are you, Chris? Pardon, how did I do that? I have a serious problem with you. That is that you pretend a lot! Chris, in my own house, you, you are talking to another, another lady in my house? You think I didn't hear all your conversations? I was listening to you from somewhere! What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't know you were eavesdropping. This just confirmed that you are a cheap cheat. You have been cheating on me at my back, Chris. Cheating on you? What do you mean? I hate you! I hate you! <sighs> Sorry, do you do you? Just leave me alone! Just let me be. Leave. Leave! Well, I, I think you need to check. I, 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 I just hate you! Get out! Get out! Get out! You. Get out of my sight! You, you need to look at the dictionary to. <laughs> Sorry. 
Officer in charge, I need to go out. Mr. Chris. Yes? Can you tell me where you're going to? And is my superior aware that you're leaving this premises? Of course she's aware. Why? Oh, well, she asked me to be sure where you're going to and the reason why you're leaving this premises. Why would she ask such question? Am I under arrest? House arrest or something? Mr. Grace. Yes? Call her on phone. Tell her to call me. And even if I decide to give you exit, I need to know the reason of your exit. Where you're going to, who you're going to meet, and most importantly, you need to give me an estimated time of your arrival. Copy it. Um, officer in charge, are you trying to embarrass me? Are you trying to embarrass me? Mr. Chris, if you say any more thing, I will charge you for noise pollution. Lord Disiglia. The security man didn't let me come out. Why? He said he's working under instructions. Um, anyway, get in, let's go. I'm sorry, I can't go with you. I, I told them I'm coming back in, in a few minutes. Chris, Lizzie is getting jealous over us. She overheard our conversation. Joy, please. Why are you making this look like a competition between you and her? Yes, it is a competition. Everybody loves Chris. When are you moving in with me? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Chris? Listen, stop. You need to stop. I don't want any more trouble, please. All right? I told them I'll be back shortly, so I can't go with you. I can only be your peace and not your trouble. Excuse me. Kitty, let's go. Stop it. I'm not going. Please. Chris? Chris! You okay? Hello. I hope you had lunch. The one I made before going to the supermarket. I'm not feeling hungry. And why is that? Why are you not hungry? And don't tell me you've been starving yourself all day. Hello? What happened? Is something wrong? Is something wrong? <sighs> okay. So I don't know what the problem is, but... I want you to know that I'm still very loyal to you. And the type of relationship I share with you is more or less like that of a boss and a servant type of relationship. So I feel like if something is wrong with you, you shouldn't hesitate to tell me. Hello? Did something happen? I'm indeed very surprised and astonished. You have been a virgin all this while. Thank you. 
Thank you for making me a woman. Henceforth, I'll be calling you my heart, sweetheart. And henceforth, my impression about you changes because you are special and the rare jam promise me you won't be calling that lady again oh come on now i promise i won't call her again thank you you will be spending the night with me tonight here and always if that's going to make you happy, I will. Yeah. Yeah. This life, the things happen for a reason. Just as the clock is ticking, per seconds in a daily events unfolding, pushing us through a life goal. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Inspector Charles. How are you? Well, I'm nice. Though, as an agile officer, I didn't sleep at night. That is fine. And is expected. Good morning, officer. Mr. Chris. Yes, please. How dare you? What? How dare you, bloody civilian? Why would you allow a senior police chief to join you in washing the car? Mr. Charles. Ma. How dare you call my love a bloody civilian? Now, let today be the last day you will address him as a bloody civilian. Yes, ma. Henceforth, accord him every respect that you should accord my husband. Am I understood? Yes, ma. Good. In different ways. Mr. Chris. Yes. Accept my apologies. Some made love on their thorny part yeah, yeah. Some on their rosy part But what matters is how true the love is But it doesn't matter what the world throws at you hmm. Lizzie, I would rather die than to marry a police officer That's never in my plans, never Joy is that why you've been refusing all the police tutors coming for your hand in marriage? I don't understand you, Lizzie. Are you not my senior colleague? No, 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 no. Are you not a senior police officer? So what stops you from marrying an officer like you? Mine is different. Yes, I told you. My father warned me against it before he died. Oh, I see. So I am the Aaron. My father did not warn me. It's your father that warned you. I don't blame you. Please call your maid to go and bring me something to drink. I'm, I'm really very hot. I will get you something to drink myself. And please, henceforth, do not refer to Chris as my maid or servant. Okay? Let me get you something to drink myself. Lizzie! Mm -hmm. oh, uh, what? 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 You, you didn't tell me you believe him of all his duties. I'll get you something to drink. Myself. All right. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> yes! I have it! John, sir! Permission to stand at ease, sir! Officer in charge, do you think it is appropriate to salute a bloody civilian? An individual who is not a security agent? Do I deserve your salute? By the orders of my superior officer, 
I shall forever remain loyal and respectful to you. I don't want to lose my job. So! Wow. Wow. Officer in charge, that is highly commendable. But I want you to know that I am still that Chris, that humble Chris you have always known. And nothing has changed between us. There is a serious reverse to the rules, sir. And you are my boss. And I am your security, sir. Wow. Again, that's highly commendable. But I want you to know that as far as I'm concerned, we're going to be friends for life. So enough of the salute. Yes, sir. Contrary to your ins insinuations, there is a reverse to the rules. Sir. You know what? During parade, as soon as the squad leader shouts about stone, the people in front becomes last in the queue. You are my boss, and I am your security. So, well, officer in charge, I totally understand you, but I want to assure you that. As far as I'm concerned, we're still going to be friends for life. Yes, sir. Apologies. I have a question, sir. What is your question? How did the twist happen, sir? What twist are you talking about? Don't forget, I apologize before asking this question, sir. How did you penetrate the heart of my superior officer? Sir! Inspector. Yes, sir. Are you out of your mind? No, sir. What stupid question is that? Huh? Listen to me. Do you know false accusation? is a punishable offense under the Criminal Code of Justice. Are you aware? I'm, I'm supposed to be telling you that, sir. What? Officer in charge, I will charge you for conspiracy. I will also charge you for false accusation and misconduct. Now march back to your duty post. Temper Justin. Temper mercy with just Temper justice with mercy. So <laughs> What is it? Stop it, stop it. Stop what? I've told you to stop doing this, please. It's my duty to do it, so stop. Oh, come please. on now. Listen, I'm already used to doing the house chores. Come on. I, I need to do it. Honey, but I said no. I want to help you do it. There's nothing wrong with me doing Why it. Why are you so stubborn? Stop doing these things. I should do them now. They are my duty to be done. Listen to me. I want to do them. I'm used to doing them already. So there's nothing wrong with me doing them. And I said no. Okay, just give me a second. Let me just quickly finish. Honey, you're not going to do this. Why are you like this? Why are you so stubborn? I, listen, okay, I want to just clean the table and that's it. I'm done. I'm almost done. You're not going to clean the table, so let me have it. Why? Because I don't want you to do them anymore. Listen, you've been so caring. You take good care of me. You give me shelter. How else do I pay you back? Huh? Sweetheart, can you... Drop this, giving you shit off everything. We are together now. Please. 
Okay, just give me a second. Let me just... I said no. Okay, now I order you to leave this. Oh, that makes it worse. I'm not going to leave it. Just give me a second. Let me just click. If you love me, leave it. All right, that's fine. Good. Okay. Better. I should be the one to do this. Come here, there's something I need to show you. Let's go. What's that? Yes, I need to show you something. What's it? Show me the picture. You are very good. Yes. And you want to know what I want to show you. This life. Things happen for a reason. Just as the clock is ticking. Per seconds in a day. Events unfolding. Pushing out through a life goes. Sometimes it comes pleasantly. Sometimes it comes with ups and downs. Peaches and hot ups. But in all, all you got to do is uh, and enjoy the ride while it lasts. Be positive. Joy! Welcome, Joy. Hi. You're welcome. Lizzie. Yes, darling. Chris. Hi. Una wedono. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable, my darling. Ah, ah. Are you doing trouble for the weekend as usual? <clears throat> my darling. Yes, sir. I was actually tired. Oh. So I decided to stay back. Why you continue from where I stopped? <laughs> I'm sorry, please. What can I offer you? Uh, you want water, spirit, soft drinks, whatever. Make your choice. Nothing. Nothing? Why? That is all like you because I know you very well. You like taking brandy early morning on Saturday. I'm not in the mood. Excuse me. Just okay. Oh, okay, okay, darling. Lizzie, what? Come. What's the meaning of this? Meaning of what? I don't understand. Are you trying to bring yourself down to his level? Oh. You mean you're cleaning the house with your maid? Oh, that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just decided to help you with the house chores since I'm around today. Besides. I no longer want to take his humility for granted. Mm -hmm. Come. What is it? Lizzie, sit. What is it? Lizzie. What? Tell me. You're becoming so soft with this guy. But is there something you're not telling me? <laughs> something like what? Oh. Lizzie, are you... Are you developing feelings for this guy? <sighs> Joy, my darling. Yes. I think that decision should be at my own personal discretion. Huh? Really? Yes. What are friends for? Whatever secret you tell me wouldn't be public. So stop. Uh, Joy, Joy, how is your mom doing? That is not what I'm asking you. What are you asking? My mom is fine. Good. I am asking you. Are Joy, you can you can just... Can, what, 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 what do you want to drink? Let me offer you, please. Just give me a minute. I'll get you something. Oh. Mm. Coco, like this particular agbo is original. Mm. Compared to the ones they have been giving to me here, you know, since we had issues, these people have been supplying me with fake, fake agbo. The agbo that you can drink and your face will still remain the same. It is good you try other ones. Because our elder says that a cow never values its tail until it loses it. Cordelia, mm -hmm. I did not introduce this discussion for you to arrogate your self ego. After all, your agbo is yet to be registered with NAFDAQ. I can still charge you for illegal drugs. That police are Forget this, your regular arrest threat. Let's discuss something important. Um, where is that your Madame Handsome servant? Eh? That fine man now. Kode, now I know that you're a prophetess. Say so. And what makes me a prophetess? Do you know that Chris 
is now my superior's lover. Hey, did I not say it? That that guy is too handsome to be a servant. Hey. And that's why I say you are a prophetess. Kodi, my love, accept to marry me so that you can be prophesying to me. Oga police, if you have finished drinking, pay me, let me go. What do you mean by that? Cordelia, what is the meaning of that? Do you know I can charge you for illegal extortion? What is the meaning of that? Oh, you, 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 want, you want to see this? Bring what? My friend, will you get that from here? Hey, again? Still this mind, they find me. That person where you go, he will go better for you. Bloody civilian. Lizzie, what? wait. Tell me it's not what I am suspecting. And what are you suspecting, if I may ask, Joy? Is Chris still your humble servant, like you always say? Or has it gone beyond that? <laughs> and if I tell you that it has gone beyond that, do you have a problem with it? Of course! I have a problem with it. That is the only when I will know that you're nothing but a betrayer. Yes, you're a snitch. Very corny. You're a corny woman being. And you're someone I should never associate with. Because you're very envious. Joy, why, sh why, should, you, why should you assume such a thing about me? My dear Lizzie, you made it clear that Chris was nothing but a common mate to you. So now, all of a sudden, it's going beyond that. Say that to me. Yes. Well accepted. I said that to you. And if I decide to change my mind, do I own anybody any explanation? Yes, you owe me every explanation. Because I was the first person that made my intention known to you first about Chris. Oh, huh. um, Joy, if I should say that you are being greedy right now, uh, would that mean an insult to you? Because from what I am seeing, you are trying to reap from where you did not sow. And where exactly do you think you sown? Because Chris was already a grown-up man, handsome, full of life, before you met him at the incident that happened. And you brought him to your house, which every other person can do. So don't even take all the credit and feel like you're one Virgin Maria, Ave Maria. Don't do that with me. Don't even try it. I see. I think I should understand what is wrong with you right now. Hmm. Because you are sweating, you are ranting, you are you, you are trying to blow off because you think he is now for me. <laughs> Joy, I think at this point of this your new character, you have overstayed your welcome <laughs> in my house. Please. Lizzie, let me warn you. Let me warn you! Listen, if I Joy does not have Chris. You will never have Chris. Come out of my house! I promise you, I swear! Ah! I, yes. I will make sure I do everything and I will use the last blood in me to fight you. It's not a shot! I will throw you out of my house. Don't be pretentious! Don't go out of my house! Pretentious fool! Get out! Don't be pretentious! Don't be pretentious! Get out! What a fool! Get out! What nonsense! You stepped into my house to talk about bitch? Are you mad? Hey, why are you raising your voice? Chris. Yeah. Now tell me. What is going on between you and Joy? Did she tell you there's something between us? Chris! If you do not want me to go in there, pick up my pistol, blow the head and blow my well. Start talking. What is going on between you and that lady? There's nothing between us. Although she once complimented my looks and said she likes me, that's it. 
and you refuse to tell me. Because you enjoy shitting on me. What a betrayal, Chris! What? <sighs> I've never betrayed you. I don't intend to start today. Like I said, <sighs> she complimented my looks and told me uh, she likes me. You spare me those your belated explanation and talk to me. Who is the other girl you'll be talking to on the phone? There's no other girl. It's been Joy all along. It's been who? Joy. How do you lie to me, you son of a bitch? Noted, Ma! Yes. Who is she to make my superior angry? Bloody Sibia! I understand how you feel. But I want you to know that I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry for lying. I actually did that on purpose. Because I cared about your feelings and I didn't want to cause a fight between you and your friend. Please. Forgive me. And you encouraged her to win you over. Not entirely. Your friend, she was very stubborn. She is a stubborn woman. She was going to do everything to have me. But I treat it very cautiously because I have, I have so much respect for you. Besides, you have never shown any interest or you have never given me a signal that you like me. I'm sorry I'm late. But the truth is that I am secretly in love with you. Yes. My ego took the better part of me. I'm sorry, I hate you. This life, okay. the things happen for a reason, just as the clock is ticking, per seconds of a day. 
as I was saying, Inspector Charles. Henceforth, the narratives will have to change. My love here will no longer serve your meals. I will be giving you money to do that. Is that clear? Yes, Ma! Good. Subsequently, you will have to accord him the respect and all the privileges that he deserves as my husband. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the Commissioner of Police to withdraw you and send someone else as my oddly. Do you have a problem with that? Madam, may I reaffirm that all you have said is correct. There will be no problem, countermotion, or catastrophe. I will empty to your rules. Yes, ma. Good. Sweetheart, do you have anything to say? Um, not really. But the inspector is a great guy. And um, I'd like to plead on his behalf. Kindly accept him to be a part of our family. I'm very certain that he would continue to discharge his duties effectively. Sure. I will, sir! Good. That means we are still on the same page, Inspector Charles. But, if you think otherwise, you can always report to me. Is that clear? Yes, ma! Good. You may retire back to your duty post now. Inspector Charles. Thank you, Ma! Inspector. Sir. Aren't you charging me to court for any criminal offense? No, sir! Your freedom has been approved. You are hereby discharged and acquitted. Yes, sir! Sorry, you. So much. <laughs> Such a funny man, right? Yeah, he is very funny. Okay, sweetheart. Um, we'll be going to the office together. Oh, really? So, yes, so we need to go and get prepared. Well, in that case, I have to quickly make breakfast. For what? Should what? Why should you be the one to make breakfast for me? Come on, go and take a breath. Before you're done, the breakfast will be ready. Okay, I will. I love you. Love you. <laughs> You're nothing but a corny bitch. That's exactly who you are. How dare you separate me from my man, the man of my dream, my crush? Hmm. <laughs> I'm maybe in your dream, like you just said. Because I don't get it. How is Chris your man? Are you the one who rescued him from the accident scene? Mm. Or are you the one taking care of him all this while? It doesn't matter. The same way you rescued him is the same way God would have carried me to that place to rescue him. So stop feeling like the Almighty. You're nuts. Did you hear me? You're nuts. Joy, please don't force me to use my position, my official position on you because you're becoming very rude right now. Now lead my lips. Lizzie. To hell with you and that your stupid position. Every time position, position, position. No, come let this woman to woman now. Mabia, nigga, should I give you one blow, seven apples? Like a nigga, are you stupid? See, don't dare me. If you try me, Lizzie, I will crush you. You're becoming mad. It's you that is mad. 
is, is written all over you. Something is wrong with you. You are the mad woman. You are the no no no. You don't want to be a reverend sister, Kaya. You don't want to be a reverend sister. That's how you be pretending. Monkey shadow, you be hiding, sneaking. My man, I will fight you with everything in me. I will fight you, fool. No labor. I will jam you. Rubbish. Stay there. I will bash you, fool. <laughs> Officer in charge, why are you stopping me from helping you with the laundry? Uh, Mr. Chris. Yes? Do you want to help me? Ah. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Listen to me, Mr. Chris. If Madame, I mean my superior boss, finds out that you as mortars touch these clothes in the name of your doing laundry, I will face the consequences of the law. I will be court martial and sacked from the Nigerian police force. Unless you have a new job for me. Let me just help you with the t-shirt. Mister, I will charge you for stubbornness. Respect yourself. Remember when I was a soldier. I remember. Wrong with you, Madam John. I was instructed by my superior never to open the gates for you. Oh, I see. And do you know I can report you to the headquarters for insulting a senior officer while you are on duty? Yes, I know. You know. But the rational thing you should do is to call my superior. If she approves it, I let you in. I see. Oh, thank God. Chris is here. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Can you imagine? Inspector refused me driving in. Well, I'm sorry for the embarrassment, but I think he's working under instructions. Yeah. But why should such instruction be passed against me? I suggest you call Lizzie. She gave the order. I see. Anyway, that's by the way. Chris. <sighs> Chris. I'm here to see you. Y you know we have an unfinished business. You don't have to touch me. Listen, I have to tell you the truth. It was nice knowing you, okay? But let's call it spade a spade. Lizzie and I are friends. We're not just friends. She, she's a great person. She took care of me. She saved my life. She gave me shelter. And I don't want to do anything to hurt her. I understand how you feel, but please, you should call her and sort things out with her. I don't want any troubles, please. Chris, but I was the first person who showed interest in dating you. So why all of a sudden she's all over you? Listen, I understand, but there's nothing anyone can do. I suggest you call her and sort things out with her, okay? Oh. I don't know how to thank you for your kindness towards me. You are a good woman. You have a good heart. I've learned a lot from you. You came into my life and made me understand that people are different from other people. I owe you. And sometimes I don't know how to pay you back for all you have done for me. This is me appreciating you for giving me the job. I've gotten it and the pay is really good. Thank you so much. 
Honestly, if you give me the chance, I'll propose to you. Make you my wife and the mother of my children. But you have to say yes first. Are you joking? I'm not joking. I can't joke with my emotions. You see, I love you. And I know I have been through so much in my life. But you came into my life and made everything easy. I'm attracted to your kind heart. And I want to tell you that I love you. And if you give me the chance to be your husband, I promise to be your husband. I promise to be your best friend. And I promise never to hurt you. First of all, I wish you can stop appreciating me for everything I did for you. I love you. I wish to be your wife. A humble one to you. Mother to your unborn children. I want to say yes. Yeah. Yeah. This life, the things happen for a reason. Just as the clock is ticking Per seconds in a daily Events unfolding Pushing us through a life goal You know, I consider the day of the accident A blessed one If not for the accident, I wouldn't have met you And I'm indebted to joy who opened my eyes to see the best in you. I'm thinking she'll be our she breastmaid. You think that's a good idea? Yes, I think so because if not for her, I wouldn't have discovered you. That's great. You talked about traveling. Yes. Our traveling documents are ready and all arrangements made. We're leaving this country in two days. That's impressive. Yeah. This life. Thank you for everything. The things happen for a reason. Just as the clock is ticking. For seconds in a daily. Events unfold. True, our life goes. Sometimes it comes pleasantly. Sometimes it comes with ups and downs. Hitches and puddles. But in all, all you got to do, hop in and enjoy the ride while it lasts. Be positive. Love comes in different ways 
for the ride while it lasts. Ooh, be positive.